It's been called the world's worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl, the disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant back in 2011. And while this happened close to three years ago and thousands of miles away from here, there are folks right here in the metro who say they're still affected by it. Deborah Alfaron has one man's story. Steve Simmons never needed any help getting out on the course. Oh, come on. Even if it is a bad shot, I'm so happy. Golf, hiking, he's always been the guy that never stops. I love P90X. Um, in the fact, that after I did P90X, um, I also ordered the Insanity workout. Until November 2011, Steve was 33. Well, how tough is it to not be able to do that? I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Um, it's really... Something like this is life-changing. And life changed for this U.S. Naval Administrative Officer eight months after serving on the USS Ronald Reagan, when it was the first ship to respond to what's been called the world's worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl, the March 2011 meltdown at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, the result of being slammed by a powerful tsunami triggered by the most violent earthquake Japan has ever seen. Steve started feeling tired, not himself. I blacked out on Route 50 and drove my truck up on a curb. And his new, not even close to normal, began. You're starting to run fevers, your lymph nodes start swelling, you're, you're having night sweats, you're, you're getting all spastic and you're losing sensation in your legs and you can't feel your legs when you're getting a second degree burn on them. And you know, how, do you, how do you explain those things? Doctors couldn't. Steve's leg muscles eventually just giving up. And I was just in shock. Steve's then fiance, now wife, Summer, had just moved cross country to Maryland with her three children to start their lives together. And then this. Things change. And I borrowed a wedding dress. Um, I started calling around, borrowed a wedding dress. We started looking for a chaplain. And um, we were married the day before Easter in 2012 in a borrowed wedding gown and his dress whites and um, it was the last time that Steve was really able to spend the day on his feet. Steve can now only get around using a wheelchair. As far as the big picture we still don't have a diagnosis of what this is or still struggling to even get a doctor to even acknowledge that radiation had anything to do with it. And that diagnosis is critical. Without the Navy acknowledging that Steve wouldn't be like this, if it wasn't for his time spent at Operation Tomodachi, his retirement and pension are at stake, and plus he doesn't qualify for aid in the same way he would if he lost his legs in, let's say, an IED explosion. Now, the Department of Defense says radiation levels were safe and were the equivalent to less than a month's exposure to the same natural radiation that you pick up from being near rocks, soil, and the sun. And I can tell you the, what a lovely couple they are, Derek mm. and Jan. Uh, the love there is so strong, but, you know, it just, you, you wonder, does this have something to do with that? He spent time there. And so many other people are having problems, too. Well, regardless of what caused it, we should be taking care of our military, period. It seems so odd that his pension and all that stuff would be at stake, yeah. regardless of what caused that. Well, because he doesn't have a diagnosis, that's the issue. Mm. If they could say, oh, it's this, it's radiation. But he's oh. hurt, though. He's clearly in a wheelchair. He's, he yes. is. Exactly. That's catch-22. You're going to have more on this tomorrow night, 11 o'clock? I'm going to have a lot more on this, including some experts are going to weigh in on this. You don't want to miss that tomorrow night at 11 o'clock after the game, guys. All right. Yeah. Thank you,